Well, from traditions of love to one of the oldest traditions that really does need to be upheld, I'm talking about the UCT RAG Committee's annual Sex Appeal magazine run. A time to put the New Year's through their paces, give them a taste of what's to come. And I've got joining me Kudzai, Nicole, Lisa, and Njabolo. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much. You look a little bit nervous. <laughs> is this something that we should be nervous about? I know this is a lot of fun. I mean, I think a lot of motorists get a kick out of seeing the, the theme, especially zombies last year terrified us all. What's the theme this year? Well, this year it's more about revolution. Just being comfortable in who you are. Like what revolution like means that. to yourself. Yeah. It's quite deep. How do you translate that into a, into a visual theme? What do you think people are going to be wearing today? How are, we, how are we going to see this theme translate, Nicole? I'm not sure. I'm really excited to see how people interpret it. And I think that's the point. Revolution is such a subjective term. I just have to know, why aren't you dressed up this morning, guys? I, I really expected to see zombies, <laughs> something, some sumo suits running up and down the studio. Um, no, I love it. It really is obviously an important time. You've got this opportunity to raise much needed funds. Where do the funds go? How much do you generally raise through an exercise like this? Okay, um, UCT RAG is a non-profit organization that is run by students. All our proceeds go to Shoko um, Education, where it has education schemes helping children learn in areas such as Kailicha, Manenberg, and awesome. Nyanga. Awesome, awesome. Do you guys get to go to these areas to see how the money is spent to get involved with the communities? Shoko is student-run, so students are able to go to these areas and they help students learn by having tutor sessions. It's a really great initiative. Do you think the students buy into what you're doing, the good that you guys are doing, or is it just like a really awesome day out? I mean, I No, I mean, um, besides it being a really day, a really great day out, I think students do tend to get involved, they get excited. I mean, you're waking up, you get to dress up, it's a really cool vibe. Mm -hmm. Students, students love it. Students love sex with you. I have to ask, and he, and he rubs his hands together. Where are you guys going to be stationed? Uh, where do we find you guys? Where, where can people pick up the magazine? Okay, well, right now as we speak, people are getting on buses, getting onto the major intersections, just all around Cape Town, from the north to the south. Just picture that in your mind. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it definitely is sort of chaotic, like early, early in the morning, just getting people onto the buses. People don't be left behind. People are still dressing up. It's so early for students, but if you want to get there, you get there. Half dressed Oh, man. Well, you guys can start working on your sales pitch now. And um, thank you so much for the effort that you guys put in and, and all the best of luck this morning. I hope you don't get too much abuse out there. Um, but for a really good cause. Awesome to meet you guys. I um, Oh, man, you know, I've got it somewhere. If you, if you had an hour, <laughs> I'm going to get you to sell it to me now. Guys, I don't know. I don't know if that was a strong enough sell. What do you think, man?